All right, what's going on? So this is going to be a real quick video right now. I'm just breaking down Exodus 3.14 when God speaks to Moses, which really, which is not really even God speak to Moses. You need to understand, first of all, just to give you all a summary, a lot of you Christians, a lot of y'all people, y'all really be flunked out and lost in the head because a lot of these verses, y'all got to understand the esoteric energies, the internal energies, right? What are these things actually referring to about you, right? Not you getting lost in the book thinking that, God is in a book. No, the book itself is based on the properties all around us that is God, right? Because we are all individual expressions of God on earth, and we all have certain temperaments and behaviors that are from God, you could say. But God and the devil is really just the same thing. The same way that God divided the light and the darkness into equal, the same way you could view outside of you light and darkness, the same way that humanity has an internal side of themselves and an external side of themselves that they play out, all that shit is referring back to you as being a, a descendant, uh, an offspring of the creation, but a limited descendant, a limited offspring. So you created your own point of view about the world, which is really kind of demonic, but we all kind of fell here as a group of spirits based on us being lost in the light, based on being lost in an awareness and, and making that, exalting that, making that into a Lucifer, into a big light. And we're like, yeah, this is this is the best thing in the world. So we basically refuse to change, refuse to trans transform. And this is why a lot of y'all Christians, a lot of y'all Muslims, Muslims, a lot of y'all religious people be going through like trials and tribulations and shit like that to show you that whatever you're stuck in is really not actually God in totality. It's really just bullshit. And even the Bible, basically, is just a book about like, you know, light spectrums energies what happens when these light spectrums collide and shit like that because you be experiencing those light spectrums too when you're dealing with someone that's a, that's very angry and shit like that that's the energy spectrum that's satan that's wrath that's the redshift that's this shit here right that's aries that's scorpio that's like being angry passionate desire but like in a very negative way because you're supposed to use your anger your passion your desire to transform things around you same way with how heat melt metal right and it give metal the ability to transform to a different state see this is how you know i'm talking about the real shit because if you can't see what you're talking about in all of existence and reality for the most part you know that shit's false because we can only see that in your book and then we have to uh have a bias and pretend like things around us don't even exist which lead to arguments between christians and muslims and religious groups and shit like that and everybody be just be wasting their time god is right in front of you everywhere but if you refuse to actually acknowledge it you need to understand that you is a demon stuck in your emotions and you don't want to view nothing from a point of view that's uh, you basically just indoctrinated you you follow a doctrine a man-made doctrine from these from the world all around us that we see right because everything in the Bible that they wrote is something that they had to experience in the world first through people that, uh, you know, that behaviors, you could say, elementals, which is just nothing but mental forms with certain temperaments and shit like that, that based on the person's space that they in, they summon that temperament based on them choosing that disposition and shit like that. So that's why some of us, you know, there's such a thing as like zodiac signs or whatever, but it's not even really zodiac signs. Zodiac is just a mathematical calculation based on the division that is actually just talking about, you know, temperaments of behavior because it's already scientifically proven that, you know, weather actually uh, affect how you behave and shit like that. So it's, like, it's almost like you've been imprinted, you've been branded with a particular wave of energy and the way you organize it was different than other people. So it's talking about how these temperaments, how these energies, you know, uh, can be used and can be experienced externally in reality for you to come to certain conclusions because they're basically just traveling light degrees. Look, for the most part, the same way how the sun travels through the degrees throughout the year, it's making you consciously aware of certain things through like seasonal transitions and shit like that. And the more you're able to actually ride the wave and not get thrown under the wave, it shows you how much on a percentage level are you keeping up with God because God is a fast moving wave in reality, right? Whenever you're not able to keep up with that wave, that lets you know that you're stuck inside of a mental form. You got some type of mental blockage that's preventing you from moving forward. Okay, so now that I explained that, let's go on to the verse. Exodus 3.14. But I have to explain the context because a lot of Christians, a lot of y'all be stuck and lacking an understanding as far as what the book is talking about. No, it's a book about numerology. It's a book about astrology. It's a book about energies. And we all is energies trapped in bodies because we have a soul that's branded with a particular energy and our spirit is supposed to be free but we just chose to condense ourselves into a finite expression from the infinity overall. 
So uh, okay. So anyway, so Exodus three one four. So we're talking about numerology number three one and four. So God said to Moses. So you need to understand when God was talking to Moses, Moses was really just talking to himself. The same way you'd be talking to yourself and you'd be trying to convince yourself that hey, you want to have belief in this business you want to start. Hey, you want to have faith and belief in this family. Or hey, you want to go buy this burger, but you promise yourself that you're on a diet, so you're not gonna go buy that burger and shit like that. So this is. God talking to Moses, this is not God talking, this is Moses talking to himself, right? He's trying to figure out, he's trying to philosophy, find out what God is, right? So now it talks about 314. So he's talking about the solutions in your environment that God show you because God is everything around you, right? So let's say, for example, because a lot of the times we just make God retarded. We just we just destroy what it means to be one with God, right? Because God's right in front of you every single day. So we talk about number three, talk about your environment. God is around you in so many creative ways. God communicates in so many different ways. But you got to be able to actually comprehend it and get outside of your own ego and start to use some type of logic to actually observe it rather than what? Being stuck in your feelings, your feminine energies and shit like that. You don't want to be stuck in your feminine energies. Otherwise, you'll be too emotional, lost in your own uh, emotions and shit like that and unable to be balanced let's talk about three being using your logic your mercury energy which is something but virgo and gemini being able to analyze and communicate and uh well i think virgo is like analyzing and thinking and the uh, gemini is like communicating and thinking so something along those lines so you're able to so you're able to be more logical than other people and not be so emotional but all these energies is powerful but now i'm talking about this specific verse so uh, God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, say this to the people of Israel. I am has sent me to you. So what do you come in the form of, right? We all come in the form, right? And all these forms that we express ourselves through, right, is I am. Because we're all representing a particular relative position within the space and time. So whenever you come to people, you need to come as who you are. Because if you don't use your charismatic gifts, if you don't use... Even the Bible tells you, right? Even the Bible tells you your gifts will make room for you amongst kings. Something along these lines, right? Because if you're not using, because you're here to experience a particular thing. God never said, go to the church and pray every Sunday. God, in the Quran, God, it's bull bullshit. It's all bullshit. That's just a man-made concept about God trying to get you to give up your energy for their construct, which is just nothing but this here, right? It's nothing but this here, Saturn energy. The, the builders, the guilders, the, the, one, the one who structure reality at Mount Hermit, externally positive energy, masculine, the redshift, externally outside of you, so what you can visibly see, right? And then it talks about, so God is in your environment and God has many different ideas around you. So if you're not able to get outside of your own bias by equalizing your left brain and right brain, you're not going to be able to view God in your environment and the, the many solutions that are already naturally there because the same way the seasons change, you're supposed to change. The same way water flow, you're supposed to flow. The same way fire burns through reality, you're supposed to burn through reality. The same way earth makes things solid and we can walk upon them and build, make buildings, chairs, and technologies, and melt metals and shit like that. that, that basically show you that God is all around you and shit like that, right? But if you can't see what someone is talking about in your environment and communicate how God creatively communicates amongst all all beings and shit like that. And that let you know that it's really a lie and someone has a bias and they're trying to make you look at something for only from their point of view. And and now you're going to be lost forever because you're going to be thinking that you can only see God through the Bible and the book. But no, the book is based on, look, you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know anything about the Bible if you wasn't even indoctrinated in it. You think God is so stupid that he's going to hand his faith or hand his, what do you call it, um, hand his overall expression to one motherfucker uh, in, in a book and tell you, yeah, only through that book you can understand me? You think that book has reached every corner of the earth back then? You think that book was even around before that? You think God is that stupid? That's, that's an insult to God, bro, on God. So... We talk about 314, right? So I am who I am. So you're supposed to come as who you are. So you need to talk, learn to talk to yourself better. Stop betraying yourself. Stop getting lost in your energies. Start transforming more. Start moving with the seasons. Start flowing like water. Stop being lost inside of your internal natures, not being able to correlate your external natures, which is basically your external pillar and shit like that. Right? But anyways, I don't want to get too lost. I'm supposed to break one verse, but within that one verse, I have to break so many things so we can actually understand the real context of the shit, 
right? So, uh, so this is what you are to say to them. I am, I am, I am has sent me to you. So basically, you basically, you basically just coming really as yourself. And when you add up all that, all that shit, we talk about the number four. You're talking about the outcomes that you created. And people can see the outcome that you can create. And people can see what you love, value, and appreciate, and what that, what fruit that manifest. Then that's like you coming as your own character, creating your own results from whatever your relative position is, right? You might you might be more of a Jupiterian, you might be more Plutarian, you might be more Martian, you might be more uh more of a sun energy type person, maybe more of a moon energy type person, maybe more more of a Mercury type energy person. But ultimately you gotta create your own outcome with your own energies, not with not necessarily trying to come in the image of somebody else because you're a little piece of God and you're supposed to as a little piece of God, you're supposed to carry out one of the functions of God because you're not the overall expressions, right? Neither am I. I'm just a, a part of God trying to express what the, the spark that I have of God that's in me. So when you add up all that, right? So God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. I, esoterically speaking, is nothing but I is just nothing. I is nothing but individuality. How do you individually go about things, right? So how do you individually go about shit and shit like that? That's very very important. Because if you don't have your own individual way of going about things, then you're not going to be seen as someone who can do things from their own relative point of view. And like I said before, your gifts and talents will put you before kings and shit like that. So I am who I am. So when you add three plus one plus four, what is it? Equals to eight. So I am who I am. You need to understand the cycle that you're in, right? Because there's some type of cycle, the snake biting its own tail. I didn't draw it like that. I have my own expression for it. Because you might be so condensed in one of these black orbs that you cannot even see yourself. But you already picked an expression for you and you said, yeah, I want to be like this in this lifetime. But you're supposed to slowly shed that snake skin away. And you're supposed to transform it into new things and shit like that. So you let go of something to get something. For you to fill the cup of again full of water, you have to get rid of the cup. This is why Jesus also says in the Bible, or not even Jesus, just the person making an ex going through an experience using Jesus as a point of reference and shit like that to talk about something. Uh, what would it talk about? Like, you can't put old wine in uh, new wine in old wine skin, and you can't put uh oh, oh what is it? But some shit like that. You can't put new wine in old wine skin or, or, or old wine. In new wine skin or whatever, some shit like that. But it's just talking about you gotta be able to change your energy and shit like that. Be willing to transform. Because what is I am? I am who I am, something that you already pre-selected before you even came to this dimension. So you already picked an expression for yourself, right? But if you stray away from yourself, then you're not gonna be able to come as yourself. And now you lost your authenticity. Now you lost your power. Now you lost your ability. So because that's your power. You being authentic, you willing, you, because you know, look, we so lost away from God. I have to explain it like this. It's so simple, really. We basically just traveling. We basically just traveling. And when you go through experiences, whenever you accumulate experiences and shit like that, you get light degrees. And what these degrees is, it's just pinpoints in time to help. Uh, it's just pinpoints in time that you travel through. To get information, aka okay, awareness about that particular experience, right? Because if you never got cheated on, you would never know what it meant for you. Uh, you know what would be the signs for you, you know, not to get to, to get cheated on and shit like that. What were the signs that were leading to that event? Now, for the most part, because we don't trust who you are, you don't trust the I am. You so lost in externally. You so lost in ex in the external pillar external shit the masculine shift external energies that's what, that's what they teach you especially women they tell women to sit in the back of the church and not use their feminine energies to understand what's going on around them but women is actually way more powerful than men so they get you lost in these external energies and you're not able to understand what's going on around you in the situation so they make you get lost in this book and they make you forget about the real book which is just this the temple of god right so we becoming aware again by going through situations that we don't even necessarily need to be going through because we should already be aware of it. But humanity is so lost, it's so flunked out. It's like we have to go through it again. We have to go through these situations to become aware because we just so dumbed down and retarded ass light beings. We just made up reasons and accepted reasons about why we shouldn't move forward and shit like that. So 
they do this shit, they transform, they change, they use the godly energy to rule over us, but we don't tra transmute ourselves, we don't change ourselves, and we let them do that for us. So they change us, and they do it in the name of God, blah, blah, blah and they don't even care uh, about it like that. We just get lost in some dumb shit, and we just think like, yeah, this is what it means to be to follow God. It just means to follow an external book, an external person, and forget about yourself as a point of reference. Because remember, you are a member of God as well. Just like you got cells inside of your body that all have a function to carry out as a, a, as a group of cells function in an organ that are programmed for or to replicate the functions of that organ and shit like that. You is created to replicate a particular behavior, temperament. Now, if you let that temperament, behavior have mastery over you, you're going to be kind of controlled by a basically like a, an entity that you created that's internally inside of you that you're supposed to take over and use not it use you this is what this is what people come up with, come up with the demons demons making them do stuff that in, in reality you're supposed to use your demons just like how solomon conquered just how solomon made, made his made his, made his demon, internal demons build do shit for him so whenever he needed wrath whenever he needed anger whenever he needed this this and this and that he used it he didn't he didn't let he didn't let it use him because these things is a part of you. You're supposed to use things for you, not let these things use you. But yeah, anyway, this was a long-winded video. I, I said this was supposed to be a short video or some shit like that, I think. But it ended up being a long video. But yeah, I'm going to end it right here, real shit.